That would suck. So, I guess, okay, a Vista, but Vista still sucks. Let's be honest, friends. Vista was terrible. And where I live, I actually have the privilege of uh, living where both Redmond, or not Redmond, living where, um, living where, I uh, can't remember the name, where Nintendo, where Nintendo and Microsoft, uh, where their headquarters are. And so, uh, during work, I see a lot of people who work for Microsoft and Nintendo. And I asked one of them one day, because he said that he worked for uh, Microsoft. I said, what was up with Vista? What was that, man? And he said, he was like, oh, Vista? Apparently, the reason it sucked so bad is because uh, Microsoft, in an attempt to make more money... Um, in an attempt to make more money, cut out a company that programmed the Windows program for them, like, just totally said, no, we're not using you anymore, we're using our own. And their own company was... They, they basically tried to cut out the middleman so that they could set their own price, so that they wouldn't have to be at the mercy of the company that was programming for them. So basically, they came out with this really crappy operating system because they didn't want to share, which is bullcrap. Um, it, it makes me angry. I know, I know it's a profiteering decision. I understand it from a business, business point, but I mean, come on, Microsoft. I'm, I'm not, I'm not even saying Bill Gates. You know, a lot of people give Bill Gates a bad rap. I'm not picking on Bill Gates. I'm accusing just the entire company. N no one in particular, but just the operating system as a whole. When they came out with Vista, it, it was terrible that, like, what were they thinking? So, yeah, I use Vista on this computer. And now, see, some people are going to probably message me saying, well, I use Vista. I've never had a, any problem with it. Some people don't. Um, some people have a good enough computer that they can use it. But you obviously don't do very much graphically-wise or you have, like, the world's best graphic engine because my Vista on this laptop, now, albeit this laptop does suck, um, this is not a good laptop, uh, that's why you can see sometimes there's a bit of lag and such, uh, in the game, oh, can I not just, alright, I guess I can't walk past him, but, yeah, um, but this laptop will lag processing normal routine tasks, like, Sometimes I'll open up Windows, uh, or open up Microsoft Word, and the computer will just crash for like 10 minutes. I gotta just sit down, open up Word, leave, come back 10 minutes later, and it'll be unfrozen. And that's not like, I mean, that's not like an exaggeration either. Like, I'll be checking back, and it literally takes, you know, 10 minutes for the thing to, to, to just open up Word. Heaven forbid if I want to open up a document in Word. Whoa, that's water. All right, topics back on the game. Enough, enough about Microsoft. Enough about negative things in the world. We are here to kick some Castlevanian butt. We're gonna enjoy every second of it. So as you saw, that was the uh, reason we needed the floodgate key is because of all that water down there. And uh, ow. We will be going after it. Uh, we, we actually need to find where to put the key. I believe it's over here somewhere. See, I don't know why, but um, I feel like we're past the boring part of the game. I feel like crap is happening now, and we actually have like a legitimate reason for wanting to pursue Liddy and all that. Here's the victory armor, and I'm surprised we haven't seen them yet. They're actually... Like, you can run into one really early in the game, and it's, like, a really hard battle because you're such a low level at that point. But, um, but, uh, yeah, let's see what, what does rain and, or water and bolt, oh, that spell sucks. Um, but yeah, you can run into a victory armor pretty early, it's one of those monsters that when you kill it doesn't come back, so I guess you could call it a mini-boss. <clears throat> so, but now they're 
couple a spell or two and they're done. These witches actually are kind of uh, frustrating. They have the hit points to to tank you, and they fly around making it hard to hit them successively. I tend to take just as much damage from their attacks as to me running into them. We see we get the upgraded version of the uh, sprite called the Sylph, but stands still enough for me to hit him that I don't really... Plus their spells, those dragons they summon around them, you just knock knock them out. You can destroy them. So, they're not as much trouble. Whoa! Hello. Ow. Okay. Did not remember that. It's a sure good thing you can use items in this game. Okay. Well... We haven't found the floodgate keyhole yet, but I'm I haven't given up hope. I know it's around here. Or at least I'm pretty sure it is. Oops, didn't mean to pause there. Yep, there it is. Floodgate key was used. Immense water drained away from somewhere. Cool deal. Amazing though that immense water doesn't even make a sound that th these days. Apparently, immense water isn't that big of a deal. Whoa, what? One, three, five, seven, nine. Okay, that is a clue. All right, I'm pretty sure we can do this. It's gonna be a waste of all the hearts we have. But um, if you want the shopkeeper to appear, or no, wait, one, three, five, seven, nine. I wonder if that's how much gold you're supposed to have. Oh, uh, I bet you it is. Okay, I'm sorry. See, I know there's one of these places with the shopkeeper where there's a little picture of a heart and it says 2468. If you come back with 2, 4, or 6, or 8 um, hearts, he'll, uh, he'll be there. But that one doesn't have a heart by it, so I wonder if it's how much gold you have. There's all sorts of trippy ways to get the, to get the shopkeeper to appear. I, I actually feel pretty shamed that I didn't figure it out until uh, just recently when I played through the game again. Uh, just, let you know, a month ago and everything. Uh, as many times as I've played this game, I did not figure it out. I just, I just thought he randomly appeared for reasons that I didn't understand. And boy, those sylphs do a lot of damage. Ow. What hit me, the axe or her? I think, luckily, it was the axe. The axe does less damage. <laughs> Oops. Alright. So, we are headed to where all that water is now. These witches drop diamonds and, uh... I think it's big mana prisms. So, they're a good... They're a good farm. If you want to go that direction. But we don't need it. Oh no! It's the cheap, cheapest spell in the game. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the Bible, because if we don't, I'll just use this spell through the entire game. It, it, it's it's totally cheap, because it, it, like, you basically cast it once, it stays with you, and just, like, rapes everything. And, I mean, your MP usually recharges enough in between the times that you cast it, that you can just cast it again. And pop in at a save point, reload it, and just keep going from there. And it's uh, it's mind-numbingly cheap. What's the, what's over this way? I don't remember. Arm plates. I wonder if that's better than the hard gloves or the guardian gloves that we have. Yes, they are. By about six points, seven points. Oh well. Yeah, this was all filled with water. I think I got down this far once when it was filled with water. I suppose you could do it that way, but we gotta pause here and we'll be back.